Today we're going to show you how to jack up a car safely so that you can do it at your own home. The first tool that we're going to use is a wheel chock for safety purposes. You will want to use this on the opposite side of the car that you're jacking up because if you are jacking up the front of the car on a front wheel drive, the rear of the car will want to lift with it, which is why you'd use this chock not on the rear of the side that you're jacking up, but possibly on the rear of the opposite side or the front of the opposite side that you're jacking up. As we're working on a flat surface, we've put a chock either side of the wheel to stop it from going forwards or backwards. What you can also do as we'll be working on the front of the vehicle is put the handbrake on. That will lock the rear wheels up so that the car has less chance of moving whilst we're lifting the car up. So the next step is jacking up the car. As we're jacking up the car, you want to make sure there's enough space around the car so that when the car leans, it doesn't make contact with anything on the opposite side. One of the most important things to do is to make sure you jack up the car in a structural area of the car's chassis. You don't want to be jacking up in the middle of the sill, for example, because you'll crush the sill and you'll impact possibly where the door sits, the door recess. You might not be able to open or close the door. So what you need to do is make sure that the valve is tight. That will ensure that the hydraulic fluid goes from this cylinder into the jack itself. So the car's now up in the air, the first thing that you want to do is put an axle stand underneath the car. We're going to be putting this axle stand under the subframe so that we know that it's going to be nice and sturdy and the car's not going to move, even if the jack was to fail. I would always recommend doing this first before touching anything else on the car because if the jack does fail or if something causes the car to move, the wheel's still on the car, it's still secure enough where it's going to hold the car up in the air. So we've just dropped the car onto the axle stand, now the jack can be fully removed and now the car is safe to work on. The next thing that we'll show you is how to quickly lower the car back down in a safe manner. We can put the jack back under the sill or the structural area of the vehicle that we jacked on previously. You can then alleviate the axle stand of the vehicle's weight with the jack, remove the axle stand and let the car down slowly. Before doing that though, ensure that everything underneath the car, any parts, tools, anything like that, are removed from underneath the car so that we can let it down slowly and safely and remove the chocks from the rear wheel. So that's how to jack up and lower a car safely. For more how-to videos like this one, check out Silverline's YouTube channel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful and check out Silverline's tool range for more equipment so that you can do your own work on your own car.